Hey loopers, Melissa here with LovableLoops.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a basic beanie into a Dorothy wig. Okay, so I have the pattern for my basic beanie on my blog. I'll link to it down below. It's available in sizes preemie through adult. I believe this is either a toddler or child size. Um, I can't remember which I made, but that doesn't matter. Um, so if you're making size 6, 12 months or larger, you're going to follow this pattern. If you're making a smaller hat, it's really going to be the same thing. You're just going to leave two less spaces here between your um, um, where you're gonna attach the hair. So basically the idea is um, we're going to attach hair or strands of yarn on the sides here where you would normally have ear flaps if this were a hat with ear flaps. So Picture the space between these two as being where an ear flap were to come down. If you've ever made a hat with ear flaps, you know that you leave more space in the front of the hat and less in the back because your ears are closer to the back of your head than the front. So what you want to do is you want to figure out where you want your spacing to be on the side of your hat. And if you're making a size 6, 12 months or larger, leave 10 stitches in between. If you're making a smaller hat, leave eight stitches okay so this is where the ear flap would be on this side make sure your join seam is towards the back of the hat and then if I flip it over I have the same on the other side this is where my ear flap would be okay it looks a little funny from the front of the hat because it's hard to tell with the stitch markers but as you can see you have more space here in the front between those stitch markers than you do in the back okay so what you're going to do is cut strands of the same color yarn. Now I know this is a little harder to see because it's a darker color, but this is the color of Dorothy's hair. Um, since it's not black, I figured I would go ahead and use it. Black is very hard to see. You're going to want to cut the same color yarn in individual strands. You want the strands to be about 36 inches long, and you're going to need two strands for each stitch. So since we have 10 stitches between the stitch markers you're going to need 20 for this side and 20 for the other side so you need a total of 40 strands of yarn and you want them to be approximately 36 inches long okay I have pre-cut my strands just for the purposes of this tutorial to make it a little quicker and I'm going to show you how you're going to attach them okay, you're going to take strands two at a time and you're going to basically fold them in half like this, okay? So you see here I have the loop on one end and then the yarn tails on this side, okay? You're going to take a crochet hook and you're going to do this from the inside of the hat out, okay? So you're going to take your crochet hook, stick it through the stitch, and again, this is the inside of the hat. The hook will end up being on the outside, the right side of the hat. Put those loops on your hook, pull them through. Okay, so now you have the loop on one side and the yarn ends on the other, and you're gonna pass those yarn ends through the loop, and then you tighten it. And then you're gonna take two strands in each hand and just tie them in a knot. Okay. Oops, sorry. Just like that. Okay. You're going to repeat that for the next one. Okay. So I have my two strands here. I pass my hook through that stitch. I'm going to grab that loop, pull it through. You want to make sure your yarn ends are as even as possible. And you're going to pass them through that loop. Go ahead and tighten it. Take two strands in each hand and tie them in and off. Okay. And repeat that again. So insert your hook into that next stitch. Careful you don't skip, it gets a little crowded there. <laughs> so 
That's the next stitch. Take two more strands and repeat. Fold them in half, pull that loop through to the other side, and then pull those yarn ends through that loop, tighten, take two yarn strands in each hand, and tie them in a knot. Okay, you're gonna do this for all 10 stitches. And again, that's if you're making size 6, 12, or larger. If you're making a smaller hat than that, I would recommend just doing about eight stitches. It's really up to you. If you want the sides to be larger, you can certainly do that. It's just a recommendation. I apologize if this is so hard to see. Here's the next stitch. I certainly wouldn't do a full tutorial on how to make a hat with this dark yarn, but since this is fairly simple, I figured it would be okay. Go ahead and pass those yarn ends through that loop, pull it tight, and tie them in a knot. This is actually um, a project you could do if you were to find a hat, like a beanie. I know sometimes at Target they have hats in the $5 section. Um, they're just, you know, crochet hats that were made, I guess, on a machine. Um, the stitches are a little looser, so it's not the best quality, of course, for $5. But if you're just doing this for a Halloween costume, if they had that in brown, you could just buy some brown yarn at your craft store and easily do this even if you don't know how to crochet. But if you want to learn how to crochet, I do have tutorials on my um, channel where I go over basic stitches with you. Okay, so it looks like I have one, two, three more to go. So that's the last one there. Okay. So now you have this hair here, this yarn, <laughs> on the side of the hat. And what we're going to do is we're going to braid this together. And then we'll add a... Um, A ribbon onto it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have this glass here and I'm going to, hopefully this won't roll away, I'm going to use it here and I'm going to braid my yarn. Let's see if I can get something to hold this in place. Okay, I'm going to braid the yarn. I'm going to try to braid it forward at an angle so it comes forward a bit. Okay, so you're going to break your yarn into three sections. So let's see here, I had 20 total pieces of yarn. They're each folded in half, so that's 40. So let's do like 13. 
Let me see. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, and then two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14. Okay, that's fine. So the middle section has 14 and then 13 and 13. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and braid them slightly forward at an angle. are fairly long so I would go ahead and just go down as far as you can with this yarn that's 36 inches okay you can't see what I'm doing okay so now you're gonna want to take a loose piece of uh, matching yarn I'm gonna remove this the wig from the glass here so I can lay it flat and you're going to lay your braid on top okay so let me show you again here what I did so I'm laying that scrap piece of yarn down I'm laying my braid on top this is where it ends here and I'm just gonna tie a knot there at the end okay and then tighten okay you can go ahead and tie it on the other side as well if you feel the need if you want it extra secure okay so now that is going to be the front braid here so if this is the front of the hat this is um, the braid that if you're looking at the wig on the right hand side you're going to want to go ahead and trim those ends and the piece that you just use, since it's the same color, you can just trim it to the same length and it'll just be part of the wig. So go ahead and trim the ends. I like to use a pair of bigger scissors like this so I can cut all the way across. Okay, now, now we need to add her blue bows, ribbons. If you do not know how to crochet, you can just use some brown, or excuse me, blue yarn and just tie a bow around the end there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use an H 5 millimeter crochet hook and this lighter blue worsted weight yarn and I'm going to chain 60. So I made a slip knot and I'm going to chain 60. Okay, so you have your chain straightened out. Okay, so now you're gonna want to use a tapestry needle and just thread that those ends into your chain so that they're not so noticeable. Just a little bit like that should be good. And snip it. And then do the same thing with the other end. Okay, we 
here we go. Okay, and then go ahead and use that as a ribbon to tie around the bottom of the bow. I like this the chain better than just using the string because it makes it a little bit thicker. So you get it tied nice and tight and so there you have it all right and then you would just need to repeat the same thing for the other side now the way I was doing this for the tutorial if I were actually doing this to make the wig um, without filming while I was doing it I would have held this in a way where I could get those um, yarn a bit tighter there that's hard to do on camera typically I'll maybe hold this between my knees so I can make it hold it nice and taut um, but on camera you can't do that so I would make it look a little neater than that, but that's just to show you the basic idea of how to do it. I also want to point out that I do think that there's too much of a difference between the number of stitches left in the front here and the back. So what I would do is probably move this forward. Let me one, two, three, and then move the other one out three because um, that's actually too much. One, two, three. So that is more. Um, in line with how it should look the difference between the front and the back okay so you would do the same thing on the other side so you would need 20 more of those 36 inch long pieces of brown yarn attach them on this side braid them and then add your ribbon and again this ribbon was made with an H millimeter crochet hook or an H five millimeter crochet hook and 60 um, chains okay all right, this is a fairly easy wig to make. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for at least one new tutorial a week while my kids are in school during the school year. And hop on over to my blog where I'm offering free crochet, new crochet patterns every week. All right, thank you.